Namaste. Good morning. I'm Scotty. This is uh, the YouTube Scotty Yoga channel. Today, a yin yoga class uh, riding the wave of calm, of calming wave, to finding that calm in you. It may be difficult times. So let's start to ground to feel your sitting bones. And that's always what you do when you are in a rough time. Just ground, just connecting with the floor, with what is here. So finding the sitting bones and start to stretch the spine, close your eyes, coming into yourself. Just feel the vertebrae. Crown all the way up to the ceiling. Creating space for heart and lungs to roll the shoulders backwards and down. Yes, breathe now. It's the breath, it's the wave, the calming wave. Let the breath be calm, be in the belly. Let the breath be grounded. Not coming high into the chest. Just let the breath be falling down. Just make your breath really calm. No effort here. And then bringing your hands together. And this ritual I always do in the beginning of the class, it's also a way to calm down, to remember what's here. So giving respect and gratitude to the place where you are. The time we are living in. And that's the now, this is what we have. Not being afraid and focus on the future or enjoying what's coming or looking to the past, just being here, riding the wave of calm, being here. And then respect for yourself and have gratitude who you are, no matter what. No matter what is the past or what's coming into the future. Just having respect and gratitude who you are. And then respect and gratitude for everything that's around you. Nature. All being. Everything, matter, everything. And then as last respect and gratitude for the old wisdom that we still can learn from and the knowledge we get from teachers and masters and gurus. Knowledge and wisdom where we can still learn from to feel good, to be good, and to break a better world. So from that, you open your eyes, and then you're bringing the soles of the feet together, and then bringing the chin down, and slowly, one by one, vertebra, you're rolling down, and coming into the forward bend, and forward bends help you to calm down. So forward bend, that's already a start for uh, riding that wave of calm. So slowly coming into your rounding spine, the neck, everything is round, and just surrender, and just tune in into the breath, and really relaxing in the breath, so no effort, no technique, just let everything go, just riding the calm, calmest wave in you, being with the relaxed breath, just follow the inhalation and the exhalation. Follow this movement, this wrinkle effect in the whole fascia, whole joints, everywhere. It's fun. Really make your breath calm to relax. Really relax and in your breath. And having respect and gratitude for the whole body, for yourself, 
what so far I had in mind was maybe not able right now to relax, to find that way, to ride in that way. I never did serving in the ocean, but I saw a lot of servers waiting for the right way and to go on. So sometimes you have to wait, to wait, to relax. And then you feel maybe that you tune into the breath, getting one with this relaxed breath. And then you're riding this wave of breath. And the important is that your breath is relaxed. When the breath is more higher up, or you use some technique, then this wave is not calm anymore. Very turbulent or powerful. And then you can pull out feeling like this more powerful. More Maybe stressful way instead of the calm way. Really relax, letting go. No technique, no effort, just letting go of your breath. And then on the next inhalation, you're coming up. So now use some cushions, or when you have a bolster, use the bolster. I use my uh, foam roller. I like that. So you put cushions or the bolster all the way in the length. And then with the lower spine, you go over, lying down over it. And supporting maybe your head, that the head is on the same level or a little bit lower. So you want to opening a little bit the chest, uh, the throat, the stomach here, and the belly, creating space, and then bringing your arms all the way out. So now we do the opposite, and then see if we can still ride in this calming wave. When we are more in a more stimulating posture to bring the energy upwards and out instead of downwards and in. But now just staying relaxed, trusting, trusting on yourself, trusting your body, trusting the energy around you. And if you don't trust, then for the body you can use props or less props or more props. When maybe your room is cold or the doors are open, the windows are open, maybe you have to close them to make a more safe container where you can do your practicing. When it's cold and you don't have a heater, then use maybe a blanket to put over you. And then when you make it nice and comfortable, just waiting so you can catch this calming wave. Bringing head the breath down to just waiting, just relaxing. Breathing in to the nose and breathing out to the nose. Just enjoying the space you create on the front. Space for heart, lungs, and stomach. And the liver. And all the other organs in the back. While you're staying calm. 
don't bring the breath and the energy upwards. So bring it down in the belly. Feeling this wave, this rising and falling wave in the belly. Really calm down. And every time when you notice that maybe a thought is bringing your attention more upwards in the breath, just connect in the here and now again. The place where you are. The sounds around you. Maybe the smells, maybe the cushions, the clothes around you. Just being here, right now. Don't regret glad or shame for the past. Just being here. You don't have afraid or worries about the future, just being here. And then slowly, slowly bringing your arms back or use with your hands your head to coming up Then use your abdominal strength and press your hands into the mat and coming up of the bolster. And sometimes it's nice to walk in your hands forwards and come again in the forward bend for three breaths. And then slowly coming up and then removing your cushions. Bring maybe a folded blanket to the back for your head. And then laying down on your back, we do a twist. We start with twist and root. Let's start with the left leg over the right and then twisting over to your right. So here you can use your cushions uh, to put under your knees or to put into the lower spine or by your shoulder and arm. And then open really the arm. So that's the opposite arm. So the left arm goes all the way open, looking over your left shoulder because the target area, it's the spine. Because the spine is very important. When the spine is getting stiff, energy is stagnating, and then disbalance is there. And then we cannot uh, relax. And also the nerve system is out of balance. So and you are all the way into this sympathetic nerve system, more for action and stress and fighting and flying and stuff like that instead of rest and digest. So turning the head also to finishing the twist in the spine and 
try to twist it as deep as possible in the spine, mm. still opening at the chest to create space for heart, lungs, and stomach. Crossing legs can also add an extra stress on the side of your leg, the IT band. So that's uh, working on gallbladder. And actually, if we look to the meridian system, a twist is helping all the meridians in the body, especially because the target is the spine. And in the spine, we have uh, 67 or so, less or more, maybe a cross roads of the meridians, important acupressure points, or so that's very important. But also in the twist, we stretch in the neofascia where all the meridians are running through. So I come as deep as possible in a relaxed way. And another very positive thing in the twist is when we twist in very deeply, the rib cage is blocked. So it's not so easy to breathing high into the chest. So if your system starts to breathing automatically into the belly. So then you connect with this calming wave. So riding the calming wave to lying down in a twist. And really connect. You can have your hand on the belly. Really connect with this calming way. Let everything be. Just being in the moment right now. Just give yourself that space. Every time when thoughts, image, feelings, stuff from the past are flowing up to that way. Just saying to yourself, being here, connecting with the common wave in the valley. Maybe, like me, my belly start to rumble, creating some sound, working. And that's a good sign because it's rest, digest system of the nerve system, what we want. So when your organs start to work, that's a good sign. Every time coming back to this common way in the valley, the movement of the breath. And then turn your head back and your arm back. And then just turning back to your spine. And don't change your legs. So still your left leg stays over the right. But bring your hips in the middle or bring them a little bit more over to the right. And now twisting in the same way to the left side. Moving your right foot a little bit more into the middle or even a little bit more to the right, because then we go stretching more deeper into the IT band of your right leg. So it's a lesser twist in the spine, but a deeper twist or stretch in the IT band. Stretching uh, your arm again open, creating space for heart and lungs and stomach. And this gallbladder meridian is also important, and not only for digestion, to have a good digestion of fat, 
but it's also helping us to be more easy, more easygoing. And that's helping us to calm down. While the stomach on the front is creating also space here, it's helping to be more connected to the moment, not having too much worries about the future, be more content, more calm mind. Really focus on that, opening your chest. And you can have your left hand on the stomach. So bringing your left hand on the stomach to, to really connect with this calm, this contentment, to being in a moment, not having worries or making from a mosquito elephant. Just take it how it is. Giving the stomach more energy to put your hands on it. When you start to have pain in your right inner knee, then put a cushion under your knee. You can bring your other hand on the top of the crown and visualize that the energy from your hand is running all the way through your head, through the spine, into the stomach and then running up again and down to help in the flow into the stomach where it is.
slowly, letting go of your hands and using your abdominals to pressure uh, spine back. Walk your right foot more into the middle and your hips in the middle. And there, you just lie down, take a little, little rebound here to stretch your legs over the mat, feeling this inner flow now. Because that's also what we do, we creating this flow in the fascia. This hydration, these water lines, the nadis. That's also a wave of calming. And she's flowing well. We are more in inner peace with us. And then softly bending again one by one. Yeah, leaves and place your feet down. So now the right leg goes over the left. And we're twisting over to the right. So we start now with have first this uh, IT bent stretch or gallbladder stretch. So walk your left foot a little bit more to the left side of the mat and then twisting. So then you feel a deeper stretch uh, by the IT bend, the tantra fasciolata, uh, the inner leg, and the side body. And then bring your Right hand again on the stomach to help also the stomach meridian. And the left hand you can bring on your crown. When you start to feel the inner knee of your left, then bring a cushion or a blanket under it. And then close your eyes again. Coming and riding this calming wave. Connect with the breath and to visualize that the energy is running from one hand to the other, like a magnet, plus and minus. Energy is flowing, a magnetic field and an electromagnetic. Just visualize that. This energy flowing from your hands up and down. And calming. Into the stomach. When you have worries, Maybe you have worries because your right inner leg has to work to stay on top of your left. That's normal. Uh, both the worries, because we're working more into stomach. So that's why the hands are now important to really calm down. Let the worries be. Let the future be. Let be what's coming. Just being here right now. Listening to the sounds around you. I hear the bird outside. Actually, that's so nice because I live in the really old center of Amsterdam, busy. A city, there are still birds. And gladly, it's very quiet here. Maybe you have like a very noisy street where you're living in. Other sounds you hear. You try just to listen to it without a judgment, without to getting irritated from out of your system. That's why we working on the gallbladder to reduce that to be more easy in what is. To connect more with this common wave and to stay on the common wave. Mm -hmm. 
you can always thread in deep, deep into the belly, connecting with this rising and falling. And then slowly, slowly coming back using your animals, walk your left foot back into the middle, bring your hips to the middle, maybe bring your hips now a little bit more to the right because we go in one movement all the way to this deep twist in the spine. So now the spine is more the target. Now opening now really, really wide open your right arm and the left hand on the stomach now. Turning the head over to your right shoulder. And tuning in again into the breath. Calming the stomach to bring your hand on top of it. Give some healing power there. To opening the right arm, to creating a flow into the heart. Meridian and the heart itself, and one of the qualities of heart is the healing power. So let that healing power then flow into your left hand, and then bring that into the stomach. So really calm down here. Riding the wave of the belly. Calming the wave.
just stay connecting at the time when maybe something is popping up. Just connect again in the moment, connecting with the valley. Past be the past, let the future be the future. Just being here right now. And that's the sound of the bell, so we can come out. So slowly bring your arm back, turning back. And then bring your pelvis back into the middle of the mat. And before we go into the last relaxation, it's maybe nice to have your knees to your chest and make some circles. And if and your pelvis or your SI joints are a little bit sensitive, that's, that's okay. And we were working in it, so that's a good sign. And it's also nice to have a happy baby here, to rock a little bit here. And then Stretch your legs all the way out. Stretch your arms. Maybe a big yawn. And then just letting go for a couple of minutes. Now to experience this inner flow of chi. This inner peace. This deeper calming way. Letting go. Just rest. You can stay as long as you like, so then just <coughs> close your laptop. And otherwise, if you want to close the class with me and start today, then stretch yourself out, bending your knees and roll to your right side. You come to sitting and just bring your hands together. Stick your hands up and down. And then bring this healing power into the heart. The other into the belly. Also to remind yourself to stay out of the head. The head is most of the time a troublemaker. And so let the mind be in peace to connect with the heart, to let the heart open and to ground yourself in your being, into your body, in the here and now, in the moment. Riding this calming wave in the belly. Namaste. Thank you so, so much for joining me. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you next week again. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.